Welcome to this how-to guide on the National Audit for Small Animal Neutering. This guide is brought to you by the RCVS Knowledge and our mission is to advance the quality of veterinary care for the benefit of animals, the public and society. We are the charity partner of the RCVS. The National Audit for Small Animal Neutering or the NASAN can be found on our main website. Under the name Vet Audit, we host a centralised space for free to use audit and benchmarking tools. Clicking on the Nissan image will take you to the dedicated page. You'll see some instructions and some tips, but we're going to go through all of those in this video. The first thing to do will be to download the spreadsheet. and then save it to your computer. If you haven't done this recently, I'd highly recommend doing it again because it has been updated in the last month. Once downloaded, you will see that the first sheet allows for the collected data. There are further instructions and an example here, but to start off with, you need to identify the animals in your practice that have had a routine spay or castration. So these are your completely normally healthy routine animals, which are often ASA grade one um, and have had an elective spay or castrate. You now have the option to fill out what country your practice is in and you can put your practice name too. When it comes to adding your data, fill in the animal ID and the date of the surgery. The animal ID is for your reference only, so this can be anything that helps you to identify the animal to make sure that the patient isn't recorded twice. So it can be a number, it can be what the patient was, or it can just be the first name of the patient. The procedures that you can choose from are dog castrate, cat castrate, rabbit castrate, cat spay, rabbit spay, bitch spay, and also laparoscopic bitch spays. You can choose from six different outcomes. You've got your loss to follow ups, which are the patients that just don't come back for a checkup. Your no abnormalities, which are your patients um, that heal absolutely fine and have no abnormalities whatsoever. Abnormal requiring no treatment. So the wound is healing abnormally, but no treatment required and it's self resolving. Abnormal requiring medical treatment or surgical interventions and also there's an option for if the patient passes away. So here's an example of some filled out data. We've got the animal numbers just 1 to 24. We've got the date of the surgery. We've got the procedures and we've got the outcomes. Now you can collect this data yourself from your practice management system. It might be that you can download um, all the information in one hit, or you might have to go through from your ops and your consult list to find out um, any post-op checks um, or whether any of them had any complications during the procedure that you need to record. If you have the same patient that initially is, for example, no abnormality present, and then comes back a bit later and needs some medical treatment, then just make sure that you always record the more serious of the outcomes um, instead of recording twice. Your specification for each will generally follow your practice guidelines and there is no minimum or maximum amount of data you need. Um, you may choose to complete this monthly or quarterly or annually or on and off whenever you have time. Um, it completely depends on you and often depends on the rate of neuters within your practice. Once you have filled out the data for a set period of time, you can see your results on the second sheet. So this automatically puts all your results into two tables, the top one showing your numbers for each procedure. So you have your overall number performed, your overall number that were lost to follow up and your overall number that had a particular post op outcome for each procedure. The table on the bottom shows exactly the same thing, but instead of numbers, it shows you the percentage. 
these tables are perfect to share with your team and use to compare to the national benchmarks. Once you have filled out your spreadsheet, the most important part is to submit your data. Without your submitted data, we can't produce national benchmarks, so we really need your help. Um, you can submit them every month, every quarter, whenever you remember. It's absolutely up to you, whatever works for you. And it's really easy to submit. You just press the submit data and it will automatically bring up a pre-populated email, which will send your filled out spreadsheet straight to us. Once you submit your data, you will receive a submission certificate, which can be used as evidence of audit and benchmarking if you're taking part in the RCVS Practice Standards Scheme. The benchmark data is produced every year. Um, you can find these on our web pages. So you can find them and compare your results against the rest of the country. You can either download them as a handy infographic poster um, or a more detailed benchmark report. The results that you download give you an overview of um, the outcomes, um, kind of overall as all species together, and then rates for each individual different procedure. The infographic just gives you um, kind of the top, the top 10 best, best tips um, and best stats from the data we receive. 95% confidence limits actually give the benchmark figures. This just means um, that from the data you can see on the screen, we can be 95% confident that the true incidence of patients that require medical treatment is between 6.69% and 7.15%. So if you're looking at practice goals, a good goal would be to make some improvements so that the number of patients in your practice that require medical treatment is within that benchmark figure or even better below that benchmark figure. When it comes to improving your patient outcomes, a team discussion based on your practice guidelines and protocols will help identify any improvements you might need to make. We also have a resource hub which is a central location of evidence, articles, resources and case examples to help you in your journey to improve your patient outcomes. You can choose which outcome you want to investigate. Um, they are generally listed by the outcomes um, within the NASAN, but we've also got a special dedicated section specifically for rabbit evidence. So I hope this has helped and you can find all of these at rcvsknowledge.org forward slash vet audit.